Hello folks, I'm back after a long, long, long time. I took a break after this October November exam. So, so that's why I haven't been posting uh, videos. So now I'm back with the Vincians, of course. So this question belongs to uh, October November 2020, paper 2-2. Two, two. And uh, the question number is 2 actually. I used it for an exam and it, here it was question number 2. 4 actually. 4, sorry. It's question number 2. It says a cylinder is suspended from the end of a string. You can see here the cylinder is stationary in water, so at rest, uh, with the axis of the cylinder vertical. The axis is vertical here. The axis is vertical. The cylinder has a weight 0 0.84 newton. So I can write here weight is equal to 0 0.84 newton. Height yes, which is unknown. And a circular cross section of a diameter this much. So this thing is the diameter D. Uh, the density of the water is this much. So this thing is uh, rho. The difference between the pressures on the top and the bottom faces is this. So this is uh, simply I can say it as uh, delta of P. Difference of pressure in the for the top and the bottom surface. Now calculate the height edge of the cylinder. So this should be related to the pressure as so delta p is equal to is equal to delta rho g and uh, and the difference in the uh, and the depth here depth difference here so let us say it is equal to h yes, let me say that's equal to rho g into delta h yes. so the difference in uh, the labels of this and this is delta h yes. here it is simply equal to h yes itself so i can say it as delta h or h itself is equal to delta p by rho into z that we equal to delta p is 520 pascals rho is equal to 1 into 10 to the power 3 and g is equal to 9.81 so when i do this calculation in the calculator so it is a 520 divided bracket 1 exponent 3 into 9.81 very close equal to so this thing comes to be equal to 0 0.053007 and and so on so it should be simply equal to if i use 2 sf it is equal to 0 0.053 three meters so this is the equal to 53 centimeter actually now show that the upthrust acting on the cylinder is 0 0.3 newton so here the force of upthrust should be equal to the weight of this thing the weight sorry not like this way uh, uh we don't we don't know other forces yet so that's why we have to do it according to uh it's equal to pressure difference pressure difference into the base area base area so it will be equal to the pressure difference is 520 into the base area is area of this thing so here is the diameter so it should be equal to pi d square by 4 and equal to 520 into pi into uh, diameter is uh, 0 0.031 squared whole divided 4 equal to so it is a uh, 520 into uh, shift pi into 0 0.031 squared whole by 4 equal to so this thing comes to be equal to 0 0.3924 newtons and it's nearly equal to 0 0.39 newtons as given by the as required by the question so now then only comes the tension in the string the tension in the string now will be equal to equal to so this is the cylinder here cylinder is here we have the weight here weight and we have the we have the we have the we have the upthrust as well force of upthrust so it should be t should be equal to should be equal to resultant of these two things so it is a weight minus a force of upthrust equal to the weight is 0 0.84 newton 0 0.84 newton minus the upthrust is 0 0.39 newtons so this becomes equal to equal to uh, 4 9 it is a 5 here it is 4 so it is 0 0.45 newtons so 0 
four five newtons this is the tensile force now so this till this uh, the topic was concerned with the chapter of forces actually uh, it is about uh, uh, somewhat uh, concerned with Archimedes principle and so on now here it is now <coughs> said that the string is now used to move the cylinder so that means what we now do is this is string will be used to move the cylinder upward like this through the water the variation with time t of the velocity v of the cylinder is shown in like this so first uh, the velocity increases uniformly till 2.5 seconds and then decreases uniformly till it is again zero use figure 2.2 2.2 to determine the acceleration of the cylinder at time t equal to 2 seconds. So we have to find the acceleration here. Here. So it means we have to find the slope here. So since it's a straight line, I can take the slope as. So a equal to gradient or slope. And that's equal to, I can take this whole triangle here. So we have, uh, this thing is a 10. So it is a 10.0 minus 0, minus 0 divided. This thing is 2.5. So it is 2.5 minus 0. That's equal to 10 by 2.5 and is equal to 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 uh, cm per second square. So it is cm here. So it is cm. And in terms of meter, it should be equal to 0 0.04 meter per second square. So simply it's equal to uh, 0 0.04, 0 0.04 uh, meter per second square now the top face of the cylinder is the depth of uh, uh, 0 0.30 meter so the top face is at the distance of 0 0.32 meter at time t equal to 0 t equal to 0 use figure 2.2 determine the depth of the top face so depth of the same thing below the surface of water at time t equal to 4 seconds so what we have to do is uh, we rise it we rise it so let us say we rise it this much we rise it this much now we have to find we have to find this thing we now have to find 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 this thing this thing so first we need to find uh, we need to find uh, by what height will it rise by what height it will rise we have to find so 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 we must have we must have this here first we need to find this we need to find this what is this then we can find this thing so what uh, I need to do here is the distance it uh, uh, comes up. The distance it comes up is so distance it comes up is equal to the area of the triangle, the area of the triangle till this four second. So it's equal to one by two into height. Height is ten. Ten into the base is four point zero. It's equal to twenty uh, equal to twenty centimeter, and that's equal to that's equal, equal, equal to 0 0.020 meters 20 cm so it's, it's because this v is in uh, cm per second so i get this uh, in centimeter and this now meter so now what we have is what we have is so this thing was uh, this thing is uh, uh, 0 0.02 cm meter sorry meter and uh, this uh, whole depth is as it is uh, said here uh, it is said here somewhere here somewhere somewhere here. it should be somewhere here uh, no no it, it is here the top face of the cylinder is at a depth of 0 0.32 so that means that this is this whole thing is this whole thing is 0 0.32 meters 2 meters so that means now what I must have is sorry I made a mistake here it is a 0 0.20 meters 0 0.20 meters so something looked fishy to me so this is a uh, 0 0.32 meters this is 0 0.20 meters uh, 0 0.20 meters so this thing should be equal to this minus this this thing should be equal to this minus this so what we have is so uh so at uh, 4.0 second the depth of top is top of face should be equal to 0 0.32 minus 0 0.20 equal to 0 0.12 meters so it is 0 0.12 meters
So you know, there's a slight uh, misconception here. So what I have in C is we have to find this thing. So it should be equal to the total depth, initial depth minus the height it has come up. So this is the depth now, which is the answer here, which is 0 0.12 meters. Now, still remaining. Yes. The cylinder is raised from the release from the string at time t equal to 4 second. So we 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 are pulling it upward. So now it is uh, released. The cylinder falls from rest vertically downward through the water. So what happens? It has uh, uh, itself uh, clarified. Itself clarified. Assume that the obstacle acting on the cylinder remains constant. So it might differ for long uh, for huge depths, but here it has been assumed to be constant. State the name of the force that acts on the cylinder when it is moving and and does not act on the cylinder when it is uh, stationary. So we have to <coughs> state the force. It is definitely viscous force. Force due to that fluid or that liquid. So this is the viscous force. It is something that uh, tries to block the motion of uh, the body. It is uh, present only when there is motion and absent when there, there is no motion. So, Stan explain the variation, if any, of the acceleration of the cylinder as it falls uh, downward through the water. So, what happens is, so uh, <coughs> when it falls downward, V definitely increases. V increases. Increases. This causes uh, uh, this uh, viscous force to increase. This causes the viscous force to increase. And what happens then is, then our F resultant there, which is equal to weight minus uh, f viscous minus uh, uh, so this thing so this thing should be <coughs> uh, minus up thrust as well f up thrust this is constant this is constant so f v has increased so that means f res resultant will decrease this thing decreases and if decreases then our acceleration is equal to f resultant by mass this thing also should decreases decrease so v increases which uh, increases f v because f v is dependent on v <coughs> so when f v decreases uh, our f resultant which is equal to this much w minus f v minus f of it's because uh, when the cylinder is falling when it is falling the weight acts here the up thrust acts here up thrust the viscous force also acts here f viscous viscous so that's why we have got f resultant equal to w minus this minus this so f v increases so f resultant decreases decreases so a also decreases so that's the answer to this question